hi and welcome back to my channel today is another thrifty thursday and that's in collaboration with sherry from turquoise dreaming leave all the links below you can go ahead and join in on that put your hashtag at the front of thrifty thursday and add it to your description um pop over and let um sherry know that you'd like to join in and um she'll add you to her list um haven't been for a, quite a while so i'll get going um i got this beautiful old pack of cards there's envelopes in there as well little envelopes and there was only one i think there's only one missing out of it but they're all different little cards they're beautiful so that was a cute little pickup for that um, I've got some I've picked up some hankies these are gorgeous this one I picked up some doilies. I found some nice doilies this time. This one's a nice blue one. Love that. It looked beautiful on a on the cover. This one is just gorgeous. Really well done, this one. Beautiful details. Nah. This one, I haven't ironed them or anything. This little one. This one's just a plain one. This one's a beautiful napkin. So I'll iron them and get them all scanned got um, Australian flowers on that one beautiful this one's a cute one little doggos little Scotty dogs little Scottish flowers as well on it that's quite cute so I'll scan them and put them up this one's pretty There's a little. And there's that one. That one's pretty, isn't it? There's this one. Just gorgeous. So I'll do some part scans of that. There's two of these ones. This one. This one's cute. Cut work. This one's a cute little sandwich doily. This one. Nice fine one. This one's pretty. And these, there was three of these. I got I grabbed them because they're just beautiful and plain they look really pretty as on a cover of a junk journal and I found another plastic doily <laughs> I've got some beautiful plastic doilies now and I'm just itching for summer to come out so I can um get this tea dyed papers going <laughs> I'm gonna have them coming out my ears aren't I but isn't that gorgeous so these big runners I'm just, I'm leaving them in one piece I won't cut them and just put the paper um, under it so super keen to get that I'll roll that up I won't fold it I'll roll that up um, yeah anyway, I'll just leave it aside 
I've got some fabric, some nice yellow gingham. I've got these two pillowcases, which are beautiful. It's that um, eyelet lace sort of pillowcases, and I'll I'll pull them apart, use the fabric in it. So there was two of them. That one and that one. I've got some beautiful um, velvet. Now, if you watched my um, oh, the junk journal I made with the wattle baby on it, I covered that in green velvet, and it was it came up gorgeous the cover. So when I seen some more velvet, I thought, yep, I'm going to grab that because it's a well, it's a really odd color. This it doesn't look as dark as it does on on camera, but um, it's beautiful. Alright, so that was the, all the linen-y things that I found. Um, I found a few clip-on earrings. Those two. And these two. And these would just look great on the edge of a junk journal, you know, and the dangle on the, um, on the spine of it. So I thought they were pretty. And I got some books. This book, Heath and Woodland Birds. Excuse my husband grinding out there. He's making the bed frame for our camp event. So <laughs> I don't mind him grinding at all. I know that he was grinding in one of the other videos I did. And I didn't realise it was him out there. <sighs> so there's beautiful pictures of birds in here. It's a really old book from the UK. That is... Oh look, it was 45 cents back in the day. First published in 68. But it's one of those like ladybird books. Love these ladybird books. Alright, so I've got this book, my bedtime story book. That was 50 cents and it's all about an elf, I think. It says 19, gifted in 1951. Is that right? Hmm, so. That might be 81. Need to put my glasses on. <laughs> There's some cute pictures in here. All about a little elf. And I've got some a pile of um, little golden books. I got the circ circuses in town. These were all fifty cents each. The animals, Merry Christmas. I won't show you inside them because you've probably seen lots of them. Bozo, hide and seek elephant. I love this one. I'm gonna make a. Um, I'd love to make a circus journal. Um, Pano the train. Ha Hansel and Gretel. We like kindergarten. The bear's new baby. The boy with the drum, Toodle, Bambi, Mother Goose and other nursery rhymes. So that was the little golden books. Oops. I got this cat book, The Velvet Paws and Whiskers. Velvet Paws and Whiskers. Um, I'm making a cat journal for Tanya in... Uh, hmm. In Tasmania, the lady that um, sends me all the fabric, she's ordered a cat journal. So um, I've got a few cat things put together, uh, cat books and that, but I thought this would be, there's some good cat pictures in here and they'd be good filler pages as well in the journal. So it's got pictures, some nice pictures in there. I think there's a full picture too of the same one that's on the front somewhere in there. I've seen it earlier. Anyway. 
so I'll get a few cat pictures out of that I don't think it's um didn't have anything that How old is it? 79. Oh, I got um, some Eden Blyton books. Uh, is that one? No, these two are. What No Cheese and My, My Nut, I think. So, um, they've got beautiful pictures in them. I'm picking up them. This one. I got some of them in my last um, Thrifty Thursday. Beautiful pictures in here. Yeah, if you look back at my last video, it's the flip through of the junk journal that I just finished. The doily one. I put children's book page in that, and it just looked stunning in it. So pick the right ones, and it can look really pretty in your junk journals. That one's a cute one about an aeroplane. And I love picking up these ones. More Brer Rabbit stories. They've got beautiful big pages that you can just pull out and fold in half and put in your junk journal as well. So yes, I'm not going to excuse... <laughs> Excuse all that grinding. I want it to happen. <laughs> We're trying to get the bed in and stuff before Christmas so we can um, at least go away in it. So I'm not sure what the date was in them. Yeah, not sure. This one, um, Happily Ever After, Tales of Forest Folk. I liked this one because I could make it into journal cards. The pictures in here are just little square pictures. Oops. I guess they'd be big journal cards, but you cut them down. And they're quite cute. I have to pick which side to do on some of them. But that one was pretty. I don't know whether there was a date in that one either. Um, 1990. And my last book, I'll just sit them back over there. And my last book is this one. Springtime Tales. I wasn't going to get it. I sort of looked at it and hummed and hard. It was only a dollar. Um... But then I came home, it just came home with me. But I don't know whether you can see, but each page has is embossed. Now the pages are double. Look, I can put my hand straight through the pages. So, yeah, that could be interesting. They could be pulled apart like that. Where's my ruler? Pulled apart like that, see? And you can see the the embossing on it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now if I can get each yeah, if I can get each page apart like that, that'd be absolutely stunning because they are um there's just like you can see see the embossing there on it in the light. There's just stunning pictures on each page and each page is beautifully embossed and look I can get my whole hand through there so each page will come apart it's just beautiful these would look beautiful on an actual um, some of the pictures on a junk journal front like a cover look at that it's just stunning and it's just all textual so yeah these could look absolutely stunning on covers And every page is like that. Look at this one. Isn't it beautiful? All the texture on it. Wow. When I looked at it in the shop, I thought it was those. You know how you get thick 
paged books for young kids and I thought oh that's going to be really thick and but no I can pull each one of them apart look at the squirrel look at all the the um embossing on it it's just beautiful and it's a thick book look how thick it is there's different stories in it I sort of tossed up giving it to our master and then I thought oh, I don't know I really like this book <laughs> Look at the bunny. He's stunning. And this one. Just the the graphics in the in this book are beautiful. Let's see if I can get it up a bit closer to the camera. Even the little frog, he's embossed it as well. And look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm glad I picked it up now for a dollar. <laughs> There's even little mushrooms and then the blackberry mouse. It goes into another story about a mouse. Oh, yeah, this is just beautiful. Look at it. It just doesn't, it doesn't um, do it justice looking at it on camera. You can see all the embossing. Absolutely beautiful. Even just fussy cutting around. You know, just that in a journal would be gorgeous. Bunny Blueberry Hill, the Bunny of Blueberry Hill. This one's about a rabbit. It's even the bee and the butterfly. It's all embossed. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Look at the beautiful owl. So that was an interesting book. Got it for a dollar. Printed in Singapore. I am. It's called Springtime Tales. And I'll just see when it was published, if it's got it. No, it doesn't. Wow. Did it have it in the back? Oh, yeah. Um, 2003. The Templar Company. So that was a pretty cool book. All right. That was all my pickups for... Thrifty Thursday and all this mess here you can see on the edge of the table that's I've been I um, I had a sheet that had roses on it and or it's a doona cover and I have torn one whole side of that sheet into strips like this and I'm just making a big roll of um, frayed um, fabric so each each strip's been frayed like that and um, like here's the pile over here that I've got to finish uh, that's all been um, all been torn and I just need to take all the little all the little fray bits off it and here's all the fray bits and I, I just want to keep all that and put it on something <laughs> so I've got a pile of fray bits <laughs> frayed bits of cotton and that's my roll still growing and um, I just keep adding to it so <laughs> that's what I've been doing in my every time I walk past or 
Um, I've got a few minutes, I sit down and do a few more. But that's what I've been doing with this. Now I could stamp on it, I could use it as closures on junk journals, um, turn it into flowers fabric flowers like you know um, with the frayed edges whatever stamp words on it put it in in snippet rolls so it just keeps growing and growing until I've got a huge huge roll of of torn fabric yeah so that's me all right um, I hope you enjoyed that little look at those things um, for my thrifty haul. I also went into Spotlight and yeah, this is something to note too. These are all my jelly plates. Um, I have um, a nice collection of shapes. The only one I would probably like to get in the future is a circle, a round one. But that's, I mean, I'm not in a hurry for it. So... I've got a 12 by 12, a uh, three, 3 by 5, and a 5 by 7, and this one's a 5 by 5. This one actually came in a starter kit that I bought. I bought a kit for jelly printing, and it, this was in it, and it came with a brayer and I think some ink and or paint and, um, yeah. But what I wanted to tell you was that at Spotlight, I went there yesterday with my daughter and they sell sheets of this um, acrylic and this came in a pack of two, I think it was $9 for two, was it? Yeah, I think it was $9 for two. And what I want to do with it is when I use the jelly plate, you stick it to that so that when um when the jelly plate is being used like that i'll just show you like you pull off your jelly plate it's got a um plastic back and front then you can lay it on your acrylic and it's stuck there okay and then you can use that as a stamp so when you're braying your paint on instead of always putting your paper down you can lift this up and stamp it down so I bought a pack of two and that will fit these two on it the um, the five by seven and the three by five and um, yeah so that was the point in getting them they had all different sizes I think they were meant for people who do you know the, um, the the um print out vinyl things you know and you can stick a vinyl word to it or whatever but i <laughs> i was like oh i need that for my jelly plates so i might pick up another one they had different sizes i might pick up another one for my five by five but I, I don't think i'd be using more than two at a time anyway so um i was really happy to find that for my gel press plates and while I was there, we had a look around. Um, oh, let me show you what else I found there. I found that. Um, I think that's, oh no, there's a couple of other things too. I found this um, paper pack it's another crafters choice one um, like the pretty petals that I bought but this one's called floral collection and I really liked that as well so it had some butterflies you could fussy cut plus you know the florals in here are just beautiful some of them look vintagey some of them look modern but I just loved them I love that love that one these petals you know you can fussy cut any of them out or you could even um get your um punch and you know punch out the the butterflies like that as well so it's 
So I thought that was a good deal. I think it had, I think they were $15, don't quote me, and there was 25% discount. Might have been 25 or 30%. I know it was discounted anyway. Look at that, it looks vintage, doesn't it? But that's what you get in that pack. And I really liked it. That one looks nice and vintage too, I love that one. So there's two of each pattern, or two of each print in that. So if you love your florals, pop over to Spotlight and pick up, pick up this one, Floral Collection and Pretty Petals. Great two books they are, um, two pads. I also found um, in Spotlight they had 3D bossy embossing folders, which I was surprised. They're the Sizzix brands. I got three of them. They were $11 each. It's hard to see here on camera, but that's what they look like. So I'll give them a burl. There was the floral one. Um, I don't know whether they've got a name. And this um, triangular one, and this one sort of looked like snowflakes, but it, I don't think it is. But anyway, they were beautiful, so I picked up three of them, and I'll give them a go. When I bought my Sizzix Switch, is it, yeah, the Switch, it came with a heart one, and um, it came out beautiful too. So, that's... Um, I'll show you, just quickly show you what I've got together for the cat journal. Now, this is just looking through my stuff that I bought from the past. I've got cats, pussy willow. I've got this beautiful cat um, book, vintage book. I probably had more than I realised, so... Um, now, I think um, Tanya said she works at a... Uh, or volunteers at a cat shelter. So, yeah. There was that one, there was Tom Kitten book, and then I pulled this one apart, but it was called The Patchwork Cat. Um, I pull, already pulled the cover off it, because I'd sort of tossing up whether to use that for the cover or not, but I've got some of the pages already. Um, you would have seen this in another um, Thrifty Thursday, the pictures in this one. But I thought they would make beautiful um, journal cards, those oval ones. And then I have um, books out of a cat. Uh, no, it was a it was a pet book. So I found some cat pictures out of there that I'll use in that. So that's the start of the cat journal. Um, we'll see how that progresses. That's all I've got together for it so far. So she said she wanted cats and lace. So that's a combination I haven't heard <laughs> heard anyone want before. So that'll be interesting um, to do. All right, so that's me for Thrifty Thursday and showing you a few other things that I've collected up along the way. And um, if you haven't, Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here with me. Press that bell button for notifications. Like, share, give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And leave me a comment. I'd like to, like to say hello and get to know you. Um, yeah, and I hope you're happy and well. And I'll catch you for another video soon. Bye.